Hi, <laughs> welcome to Wardy's Rule of the Road session. This may be the first one you're going through. This is already on take 27. Um, so let's just see how we go through. I'm going to just keep going and, and, and then see how it works out. Okay, um, an introduction into Boyage. Boyage, the ILR Boyage system started in 1973. Uh, prior to that, there were 73 different types of Boyage systems around the world. You're going from one port to the other, then you may be finding the same boy meaning something completely different. Yeah, I know that none of you were even a sparkle in your daddy's eyes in 1973. However, there are some saged people that uh, know about this sort of thing. Okay, um, so the process now that we've got is that the Isle of Boyd system and Anaton uh, uh, are split up into three main sections. First section would be lateral boys, second would be uh, the cardinal boys, and then finally we're going to have the miscellaneous boys. So I'm going to take you through those and see what we actually come up with. Um, here we've got on this software, I'm going to open it up and we'll see that it'll take us through, just pick up two sections. Here we go. So we're into the lateral boys, and the lateral boys have uh, these are either port or starboard hand um, the shape would be here this is the can in fact it's not the can it's frigging cone um, so a starboard hand so i said this is the first time we're going through and there's going to be lots of mistakes okay um, so we've got uh, the can and then we've got the cone if we look in this picture here then here you can see the top mark is indicating the top part is a cone. If I take it over to the second size, this one, although you can't see it to the same extent, is actually a can. Okay. So if we will take it over and then have a look and see, there are three different main shapes of boys. So here we've got the can and then we've got the cone. I'm pretty sure that you can see those. Then we have the spar and we have the pillar. So if I was to go and show you in my Wardy's uh, Rule of the Road box, here we've got the spar boy, and here we've got the uh, pillar. Okay, so can, cone, whoops, cone, spar, and pillar. Okay, so you can see that if we had these were marking, uh, ideally they would be the entrances to ports, so they're marking a, ch a Boyd channel. A Boyd channel being between two dangerous areas, so whether you a fairway or may well just coming into port or an estuary, but either side it's marking where vessels have to pass. Okay, you're all familiar with that. However, if we had either the spar or the uh, pillar if you were to catch them in the sunlight so silhouetted then you couldn't tell what it what boy was whether it was going to be a port hand or a starboard hand boy and so they would carry the top mark so she'd either have a can top mark or a cone simple enough i know uh, however the lateral boys aren't just as simple as that but the shape of the boys are always the same so we would go and have here's a nice little bit of uh, artwork for you so we've got the uh, starboard hand boys uh, which are cones and then we've got the port hand boys which are cans this is the starboard side of the vessel and this is the port side of the vessel however we know then that we have to follow the direction of boys. So all the boys, the Ayala Boyd system works going into port. This is depicted by the arrow with the two dots at the top, the conventional sign for the boys. So clearly when she's coming out of port, then I'm going against the direction of boys, and what was a port hand boy is now coming down to be a starboard hand boy. Okay. What did you think of the artwork? It's pretty good, eh? Hey, okay. So um, let's just run that again so you can see it. 
So here we're coming in, starboard hand boys, the cones, and port hand boys um, coming out, becoming starboard hand boys. Okay, so there are some occasions here where I've got a choice. And here we've got a port hand boy. This saying that this is a port hand boy, and if I'm going with the direction of voyage, this is the preferred channel for a large vessel. However, a smaller vessel might well be going down the secondary channel. So the can, in this particular case with a stripe, indicates a choice of boys. We're going to come to this one in a minute. And what I'm going to say to you is that this is a port hand boy, because it's a can shaped, and it's a preferred channel boy. Okay? So in this particular case, because it's a port hand, it's a preferred channel to the starboard side. I'm still going to leave it on my port hand when I'm going into port. And surprisingly, this is the question that you're likely to get in the orals. Okay, let's take it on a bit further. So here we have uh, a map of the world. And you may well know or you may not know. But what happens is that this is region A where the vast majority of the world is and then we've got the American influence. The American influence goes to the Americas, all of the Americas, as well as Japan, South Korea and the Philippines. At the moment, Iran is not in Region A, but we'll have to wait and see. OK, um, so joke. Sorry, guys. Um, the other thing that's worth noting would be that the direction of voyage always goes into port. And it also follows clockwise round the continent. So if a vessel was heading down here southwest, um, then she would be going with the direction of voyage. But if she was going into port, then she would be going against it, going with it. However, if I was heading south down the West African coast, then I'm going against the direction of voyage. The reason why I'm saying that is that there was a question uh, some time ago, but we'll come back to that uh, at a later date. OK, so clearly region A is the world. Yeah. And region B is easy to identify because it's the American influence. So the Americas... Uh, Japan, South Korea, and the Philippines. It's interesting to see that the Falklands are region B, okay, as are the Caribbean. Okay, let's move on even further. So here we go, let's look at region A. Region A being the world, and surprisingly, yeah, we've got green to starboard and red to port just the way that we've got our lights uh, on the vessel. And clearly, by night, we'll, a green boy has a green light, and a red boy has a red light. So flashing, the only red light flashing would be a red boy, and the only green flashing light would be a green starboard, well, in this particular case, in Region A, a starboard hand boy or a port hand boy. OK, so different types of combinations that I'm well I'm sure that you're well aware of. OK, so if we take on to the next section where we're looking at the isolated date at the uh, preferred channel. Ah, no, it's not. We're going through to the starboard hand boy. And then here, clearly, we've got either the cone or the pillar or the spar. And yes, there's the lights uh, are flashing. Yeah. So any other rhythm, any rhythm other than composite two plus one. So we should go on to the port hand boy next, or it should be taking us on to uh, the preferred channel. So here we've got in region A, a port hand boy, and the main preferred channel to starboard. Smaller vessels might be taking down another direction. Okay, and this is when going with the direction of voyage. So if I have a look at the boy, here's the boy. So the pillar and the spar carry top marks, 
but the can doesn't. And the light is a composite 2 plus 1. Hopefully you'll see this in a second. Here, 1, 2, and then a 1. It should repeat itself. There we go. Again, 1, 2, space, and a 1. Okay. So it take us on then to... Uh, here, this is going to be a starboard hand boy, and it's important that you call it a starboard hand boy. And the preferred channel is to port. So, when I'm going with the direction of voyage, whichever boy this is, the shape, and you are on this larger vessel, then you would leave it in the same direction as you would do a single green cone. Yeah, all it's saying is that there is a choice. Okay. Uh, right, let's move on. Region B is exactly the same. The only thing that's changed, the Americans have changed the colours. So here we have red to starboard and green to port. Okay, so let's see how we get on with this. Here we've now got a green can. The light is green, same any rhythm other than 2 plus 1. If we go on to the port hand boy, or the red starboard hand boy, um, here we go. And here we have the preferred channels. So now I've got a green can, and the next boy will either be, hopefully, is going to be the red cone okay so try and reiterate what we've got here so we've got the red can so she's a port hand boy and she carries a top mark if she was on a pillar or on a spar okay the light is red any rhythm other than composite 2 plus 1. Region A, starboard hand boy, the green boy. Top mark uh, on a pillar or a spar would be a cone. If she is a starboard hand boy, preferred channel to port, I hope you can just see that. Um, then she's got green with a red stripe and this horizontal band and she would also carry if this was in region a this would have a green cone as well okay if she is a port hand boy then here we've got the port hand boy which is going to be the pillar as well and tend to be these sort of questions that you get okay region b is now going to be a green can and a red spear and a red cone okay i need to stop there and let's just see where we're up to